we're just one month removed from the Montreal screw job. And well, this is a different place now with Bret Hart out. And of course, uh, there were some, some other members of the Hart family who've been MIA, including Owen Hart. That's going to change here. This is headlined, not by Owen Hart, but by Shawn Michaels, who is the new world champion defending his title against Ken Shamrock, a guy that I have long felt, man, I could have pulled the trigger on him in 97, 98, and he could have been a top guy. And of course you've cleared that up here on the program many times saying reliability was an issue. So as a result, this is, as far as I know, the only time that Ken Shamrock may have entered a WWF pay-per-view as a single. Um, what could have been, man, it feels like different time, different place. He could have yep. been a top guy for y'all. Oh, he, I, I always looked at Kenny as a top guy. Uh, he was hard to manage a little bit, uh, in the beginning. Uh, he wasn't used to being on the road that many times that much. Uh, so he was, he was a great character to build around. I, I have a lot of respect for Kenny uh, and uh, tough guys. We know God almighty, you know, he was, he had, he had no problem navigating the locker room cause nobody gave him any shit. Uh, but he's, he was very underrated in my opinion and, uh, in the, in the pro wrestling world. So, but I think we may have missed an opportunity with him. No doubt. I thought I'm not, I'm with you. He, if Ken Shamrock had been the, had become the champion, let's say I'd had no problem with that. Believable, you know, his promos were believable because he didn't memorize his lines. So it was, it was some good stuff. So I'm a Ken Shamrock fan was then still am. 